We give you thanks. We thank you that we live in a beautiful place it is. May we thank you for our community. All the good health that you've given us. For health reasons. God, we just pray. What's in your son's name? I pray. Present one absent. Yeah, no, we are. Comment section coming up. Football time. saying uh, so uh, the first person Tom if you'll come forward if if you will get to Ronnie Tom and Question this have you put the other two words? Said it. 
he's going to read. Get through me. So and then the. Because if they're not headed here, and I'm sure appreciate your help on that. But on that tonight, but. I, Remember, like I said last time, but he's still done. It votes for y'all stuff. Or they ever get their money. Or, you know. Taxes on up this year because I don't. That's all I got. Thank you. Agenda is Renee. He said. And, and uh, the, our public comment, and everybody's mind is to look. Good friend, long time friend. Uh, good evening. Thank you. That's probably the thing that all of I'm, I'm told that there an item to uh, I'm the newly elected President, an organization finding homes for them, and I know welcome the assistance. Of But coverage area for animal control is that the county is something we could afford to do. With together to thank, thank you, you Mr. Adams. Next person on Well Thank you and good evening. So I realized and it's all very um, and I want to bring to this year's Possibly can do shelter. I, I'm that 
And I think that's what may say, well, this year, this is we have a lot of people on board. It's bottom line. So I just want you to know that hopefully it was solved. Thank you for your time. That completes. Next up on is uh, the members know this year to uh, so the first one up you're recognized on that. is to set the twenty twenty two short shortest rest commissioners need to read theirs. The Board of County Commissioners approved tax interest went to the respected funds for the resolve that all resolutions solution are hereby repealed and after its passage On the minutes of the um, tax rate uh, level, Commissioner Anchor renewed his motion by Commissioner Darlene Cowell. Change your vote. 
24 yes. Saving crew. And the resolution. Back reread the information. Housekeeping issue, but uh, six million because of the piece of paper and just do away with it. Lee made sixty eight. This was left in If we prove this See the final document. 
and then an opportunity to find it. And I'll do this by Amendment number three accepts amendment number. Yes, it's the five percent. It is They, they automatically all employees there and all of that never happened was the asher of asked it's more to equal vacancies we've got Commissioner a couple of questions for the office of financial I assume is because of the on page 50 in that because of the personnel or more planning is for uh, As far as budget did not really have some They would not budget twenty thousand dollars. Training and things so, and cost that we've absorbed at this point. There's a well, the dollars and the tramps thousand three hundred twenty five. would have the salary. Thank you. And the second the other day we talked about that that was the actual amount I don't remember put in there but last six thousand being spent because there's vacation 
on Y and as the last two. Fiscal year. For this past year, what we've got in this year's budget. over it's on Ended in many times. in times of certificate completion and that's why it doesn't hit the fiscal year the way the pure scholarships used to they would bill us but we may need to change the header to what that is because it's really it's listed as northeast state scholarship program and if it's covering a lot more things as we might if it was referencing and my main thing is we just went from 92 to 196,000, and that just seemed like a lot and the last question i have and i think larry talked a little bit about this Animal control um, budget went up, I think, 20% this year to go up 106,000. And my understanding is that that is one of the new positions that the animal control now has hired a new person, and that's why that's gone up 20% in the last couple of years. They're planning to hire additional animal control officers to be part of that cost. Okay, and that's that increase. Okay. That's all I got. Thank you. Mr. Glover, you're recognized. I'm item number two. Thank you, Mayor. Um, Commissioner Starnes touched on some things there a minute ago that, uh, that's kind of stuck with me, and, and I'm sure it has with all the other members on this board, about the 5% raises for the county employees across the board. I'd like to read something to you. Um, Tonight, this body has shown its support for all county employees of the general highway and other miscellaneous fines by providing at least a 5% raise across the board. The schools have requested funding for a 1% raise for the support staff, while this past budget year provided an enriched pay scale for teachers, which was, you know, this body supported. 
It was stated numerous times during the last year's budget process that the intent was to provide an improvement for the support staff. Now that improvement is only a 1% raise. This body is limited as to what it can do for the school budget. Therefore, we are proposing the following action be taken by this body. This amendment to the school budget's fund, whereas the school department upon presenting their original budget request for the 2022-23 fiscal year, advised that their projected ending fund balance would be well above 3%, the minimum amount that's recommended by the State Department of Education. Now therefore, given that other county employees are receiving a minimum of a 5% raise, I'm asking this body to approve and to encourage an increase in funding by the Board of Education for the support staff by $700,000 to provide the extra 4% for a 5% raise for all support staff at the school department to be funded from the fund balance or from other sources available. Uh, the reason I am asking for this, uh, the 1% raise was, was gave to the to support staff. That's the, uh, that's the, uh, the workers, it's, it's plumbers, electricians, uh, masons. Uh, they're the first ones at the school and the last ones to leave. And I think we need to recommend to the school department for them to give those employees that extra 4%, which will make it five across the board for, for those folks also. If you look at the price of fuel, inflation, some of these folks wouldn't be getting a 10, 11 cent an hour raise. There's no way they could raise their family on that. And I'm asking this body to approve that amendment. Mr. Glover uh, moves to, for adoption of item uh, amendment number four, seconded by Commissioner Dwight King. Uh, Order is open for questions. Uh, Madam Sponsor, uh, do you accept, uh, Darlene, do you accept this amendment number four as a sponsor of the item number two? I'll take your vote on it. Okay, well, we will, we will do that. So, uh, any, any questions for the sponsor? Okay, we have uh, Dan, uh, our council. I'll recognize you first. That amendment concerns me. I have to say I don't spend a lot of time on the school board budget, but as I understand it, they present their budget to us and we either approve it or reject it. Uh, an amendment from this body to their budget would need to go back to them and get approval and be resubmitted by them before we could approve it. I, it that's the way it's, I understand it. I, I stand to be corrected by Mr. Bailey or by the school board, but that's the way I understand it. Mr. Mr. it far be it for me to ever correct you, but let me give you an opinion. Um, in, in reading the amendment, it says, uh, I am asking this body to approve and to encourage an increase and generally, when spending out of the fund balances, uh, they come back to the commission for approval on a, on a suggestion from the school board. This is pre-approving school board action should they decide to take it. Is that right, Mr. Sponsor? So it's, it's an encouragement and not a direction. Uh, that makes, makes sense? Okay. Uh, we have others. Uh, uh, Mr. Brown, uh, you're, you're up now. <coughs> Just a couple things for clarification for me. Uh, this is coming out of their fund balance, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, and, and I think that's important to note, you know, that this budget, we have over a million dollars above and beyond what was required for us to, to fund. And if anybody listened to the last BOE meeting, there again, we were through under the bus over 390 some thousand dollars. So, you know, everybody needs to pay attention to where all this money is going. And uh, I support your move. Thank you, Mr. Broughton. Uh, the board seems to be clear. Any, uh, any further questions? Uh, Madam Clerk, can you get that on board amendment number four? And so uh, we will get an amendment number four on the, to item number two on board. Uh, Commissioner Vance, you're, uh, you just went away. Uh, <laughs> push your button there. Uh, uh, I, I know, but uh, my screen changed. You're right now. I, I agree with what Hurst was saying, but the question I have, and maybe Mr. Bailey can answer this, this is a budget. 
uh, time to vote on a budget. And that's either increase or decrease the budget, finalize the budget. Making a recommendation during a budget hearing or a budget vote, I just don't see how that really falls into play. That should be done by resolution. Because we're not doing anything to change the budget. And we're voting on the budget. We're going to vote the budget up. We're going to vote the budget down. We're going to modify. You're making a recommendation. That's not a budgetary issue that we're discussing at this time. Am I correct, Mr. Bailey? I think you're actually discussing the values within the budget and the differences in um, <coughs> support to the staff. That is, as far as actually amending the budget, you're correct. It is not amending the budget. It's just making an effort to encourage the school department to come back after reconsidering that 1% raise <coughs> to increase it to a larger amount and allow them to know that the county commission would be in support of that, of them treating their support staff at the same level the county is to be treating their other employees. I just want to be nice. Well, well it's an answer. It might not be the one you wanted. So. Well, it ain't better where I wanted, but I just don't know if it's legitimate right to bring that up during the hearing because I was told nothing else would be brought up except the budget tonight, and that's what we're doing, obviously, what we were told before. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vance. Uh, Commissioner George, uh, you're recognized. Thank you. Um, being that it's a called meeting, and I think the rules of a called meeting, and I'm I guess, Dan, this is for you. My understanding on a called meeting is we're only allowed to vote on the items that we listed it to be called because this is actually, I understand what both of y'all said in a normal meeting we could go outside and talk about, but when you're a called meeting and it's advertised as a called meeting, are we allowed to vote on things that are not on our agenda? Just I, I, I would agree with you and Commissioner Vance. I think it's... Um, I think it's not a subject for the call meeting. I mean, if this was a regular, if this happened Thursday, the coming Thursday at our regular meeting, I have no issue. I'm just concerned that with the ruling of a call meeting and how the announcement is made that we only can address those items, but if you all rule that it can be voted on, that's just my concern. Thank you, Ms. George. I uh, appreciate that. Commissioner Gardner, you're re recognized. Commissioner Glover, uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, Commissioner Glover, just given the explanations that you've got, would you would you entertain the idea of uh, withdrawing your request and replace it with a re resolution next Thursday? And if you'll do that, I'll be a co-sponsor. Yes, sir, I will. I just wanted to make awareness and uh, and let folks know that we need to treat those employees as equal and as fair as we do the other ones. So that's the reason why I wanted to bring that up tonight. Uh, I figured since it was budget time, it would be a per perfect time to do that. So I have no problem putting in a resolution for this coming Thursday night. Thank you, Commissioner Gardner. Commissioner Glover, are, are you comfortable with uh, uh, converting this to a resolution? I have meeting? no problem. Yes, I would. Okay. I, I concur with uh, for Mr. Bailey and Mr. Street that uh, and, and Mr. Vance. Uh, I think the will, uh, it appears the will of the commission, uh, the consensus of, by the shaking of the head, we didn't take a hand vote, but uh, we do meet uh, one week from tonight, and uh, and earlier if we need to. Uh, but uh, I, I do believe uh, the, uh, the intent of the sponsor was uh, not to uh, amend the budget, but to urge. And exactly. So I, I agree with the county attorneys. Thank you, Mr. Glover, I appreciate it. Um, Mr. Stanley, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I guess this question is for Larry. Um, we were talking about a few minutes ago taking, um, adding the money to your budget for the extra employees. How much did you say that was? Extra employees?
transfer over from the school department when the private act was written, you stated that the uh, school department would be responsible and the county council budgets would be responsible for maintaining financing as they had, and which meant a transfer over from the school department for the salaries, benefits, supplies, and so forth, and uh, everything that is in that budget except for the 5% raises is based upon moving the uh, school business office funding over to the transfer. There's $20,000 that I said for miscellaneous costs that I think we're going to need next year. So we basically stripped everything we've got in trying to operate this year with temporary quarters and so forth. Does the school system still have accounting departments at the school that does They have some people that are still up there that they retained and gave other jobs to. Okay, is that going to cut their budget by taking that money? That removes the uh, fiscal offices and some of the appropriations are there to hold it to a transfer or over. saying is four people, I guess it's four people, that they retained in the school department and they're charging them somewhere else in the budget now. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, the board is clear. Uh, it appears you're ready to vote. Uh, Ms. Calton renews her motion for passage on second and final reading. Uh, and the board opens. Cast your vote on item number two. It requires 13 votes for passage. Has everyone voted? Anyone wish to change your vote? Madam Clerk, take the vote. 24 yes, zero no. Having received the necessary majority, item number two is adopted. Uh, next up, item number three. Commissioner Gardner, you're recognized on item number three. Thank you, Mayor. Item number three appropriates funds to the charitable and civic and nonprofit organization specified in fiscal year 22-23. Without objection, I move passage of item number three. Commissioner Gordon renews his motion uh, for adoption, seconded by Commissioner Crosswhite. Um, Commissioner Stidham, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to amend the nonprofit organization at Petworks Animal Shelter Inn for $160,000. This uh, request originally came through the administrative committee during the uh, committee hearings for the budget. It was passed with the stipulation that they add the county areas into their area service areas. They did pass that at their board meetings. Uh, that was, that's what Mr. Uh, Mr. Atkins was referring to earlier. So I request that this uh, be added on tonight. Proper motion, we have a second. I have a second by Commissioner George, Commissioner Locke. Uh, uh, we have a list, uh, Hunter, did you want to be recognized on his motion for amendment number one? It's not another amendment, okay. Um, anybody uh, have questions for the sponsor on, on amendment number one to item number three? Okay, we have uh, Commissioner Aker, you're, you're right now. Thank you, Chairman, and uh, my ask Commissioner Stidham, you're exactly right, it came through the budget and um, it did not pass. And then uh, I'd be hypocritical if I didn't mention this, it's not about pet works, but another nonprofit came to ask for uh, some money for the first time and we'll be voting on that next week in a resolution uh, because I feel like you know, we need to see where that goes and it doesn't need to be in the budget. Like you said, they just passed that they're gonna uh, work with uh, or maybe expand their horizons. Um, so I, I would, to me, it's a resolution. It's not a budget item at this point for me personally. Thank you, Commissioner Eckert. I believe uh, Commissioner Crossfly had, uh, for some reason, Commissioner Crossfly, you're recognized. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, thank you, Gary. I, I do believe we do need to give this animal shelter some money, but I'm not sure about if it needs to be on the budget or wait into a resolution. But couple questions. How many animal control officers does Pet Works have? 
you want to know the technical stuff, we'll have to ask Mr. Atkins to come up and recess for that. So he's got all the technical information. Okay. I'd hate to misquote him. We will recess. Uh, Mr. Atkins, would you like to address that? We'll recess briefly for explanation. Yeah, and I do not have the numbers with me. I'm sorry I didn't have our director with us, but uh, I believe we have, uh, I can tell you we have a full facility right now with the dogs, and I believe it's over 60 dogs, and uh, probably a, almost as many cats. Now, do you know how many animal control officers? Oh, animal control officers, I'm sorry. Uh, I think we have one. I believe it is just one currently. Just one for the And I think the intent is that we will need to hire another one if we take on this additional territory okay. uh, from the county. And I, I'm, I apologize to ask you this again. What areas were you planning on including on that in Southern County? Yes, I have a, I have the map here, which is probably hard for you to see. I'm happy to pass this to you. But it would include uh, all of Soil Gardens, all of Colonial Heights, uh, Indian Springs, and Bloomingdale. And do you know what your overall budget is for the year? Oh boy. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. We just passed that and I, I, I wish I could answer your question. I want to say, I didn't bring it. Uh, I, I, they're not bringing that. But uh, I want to say it was 500,000, uh, much of which comes from our own fundraising, mm -hmm. much of which comes from the city of Kingsport. And, uh, and then we also have our adoption fees, um, which helps us to be able to make ends meet. Tell you it's a tight budget. Yes, sir. I agree. I agree. Thank you. Um, Gary, I, I agree with David. I think this needs to be a resolution instead of amendment to the budget. And I will support some funds because they are going on in the county, but um, I think it needs to be a resolution. If I get a rough, I think Hunter had wanted to make a comment on what Russ was talking about. So, Hunter. Yeah, Russ, how much did the city of Kingsport watch y'all this coming fiscal year, money wise? Uh, increase. I believe it was 300,000. 350, yes, correct. I'm sorry. And then let me touch on this. So, when a dog or a cat is lost in the lower portion of the lower end of Sullivan County, they don't come to Sullivan County Shelter. Some of them do, but they usually stop on 11 W and they get dropped at Pet Works. And that could be anywhere in Bloomingdale, the Carters Valley to the state line of Virginia, uh, Washington County line. They're not going to go to 11 W or to Bluntville here, they're going to stop at 11 W. So they do get a lot of pets from the county rural areas of the lower end of the, the county, not just the city of Kingsport. So, I, you know, the city, we're all here together, the cities gave money. I think it's time for us to ante up because they do a lot for Sullivan County, not just Kingsport. And we need to be in a joint effort to make it better for the whole county in whole. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, um I believe we have a list here, uh, and if I may direct a question to Commissioner Stidham. Commissioner Stidham, did you want to amend your motion to include the areas that Mr. Atkins uh, indicated on the map? Yes. Okay. Very good. We'll, we'll, we'll take that map, Russ, and file it with the clerk. Yes. And may I say I apologize for being unprepared to answer these questions. I didn't no. know I was going to be speaking or I would have had all that information. You know you're going to get the first and third degree. I thought I was here to listen. <laughs> okay. We'll, uh, we'll file that with clerk. So Mr. Uh, Mr. Tittle amends his uh, uh, amendment, amendment number one. Commissioner Blaylock, you're, you're recognized. We kind of got to stop this cross talk because everybody can't hear and people talk at the same time. Is I don't see anybody in the audience representing the Southern County Shelter, but um, I would say that there's never been any bright lines on what Pitworks covered and what Southern County covered. Southern County covers the most of the county, the tiny flats area. The Southern County takes Bristol pets and Bloomingdale and things of that nature. And right now, they are servicing Colonial Heights, Sullivan Gardens, and Carter's Valley. Uh, what Mr. Atkins has proposed 
that if this funding becomes available, they will take it, they will take uh, responsibility for that area. So it would reduce the area that Sullivan County has to cover with the rounding control officers. And I'm sorry to get into that. Uh, that answer your question, Judy? Yes. Okay, Commissioner Akers, you're up. Sorry to speak again. Because I, I mean, I agree with everything Commissioner Locke pretty much said just a second ago. But again, the, the hypocrisy of my vote on this tonight would be kind of like we have the Museum of the Bluffs that asked for money, and I feel like it needs to be a standalone because we have Sullivan County archives and museums, so I, and that's going on a resolution. Therefore, we have our own animal shelter. So for this, I felt like it needs to be the resolution and have a nice presentation so Mr. Atkins can do a nice presentation next week. And then we can go forward with it. That's that's totally hypocritical. So I would be hypocritical if I voted for it tonight. So thank you, Mr. Eckerd. Uh, Commissioner Burrell. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I'll just keep this very brief. I understand the need, Gary and John and Hunter, uh, for that, but I did want to remind everyone that we've already contributed seventy-five thousand dollars to the purchase of that land that that building is on now down on Highway 11 W. I mean, it's not like we not we have not contributed anything as it stands right now. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Morrell. Commissioner Calton. Yes, I guess this is for. Um, I forgot your name, Russell. Can I ask you a question? You may. Okay. Russell, don't worry out. <laughs> when you come uh, for your presentation, I would just like to know the percentage only of county in Sullivan Gardens, Columbia Heights, Bloomingdale, East West Carter's Valley that bring their animals to Pet Works. Do you have a record of that there? Would you have a record of that there? Because you say that they stop there and they bring them, I'd just like to know what percentage comes from the county. We could probably give you an estimate. I'm not sure we could be exact. Well, you wouldn't be. You wouldn't have to be exact, but I, I would be interested in the percentage. We, we can work on that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Russ. Uh, uh, Commissioner George, you're recognized.
be a budget item moving forward from now on. Because, I mean, all of these are animals, and they don't know the difference. And I don't want to get in a spitting contest if my animal is a Keysport resident or not. I have both, so they move around. So I am going to support this because I believe in supporting both animal shelters. And I did approve an extra 106000 for Sullivan County. And that's in addition where we've gone up 20% in just the last two years there, which I voted on every time. And I think we should put some money in pet works. I know they're providing a, a, a service but they're also accepting areas in our county that we represent. Thank you, Mr. George. I know my hearing aid malfunctioned there at one time. What I said uh, to you uh, was brilliant. <laughs> well, you know, you, it, it only malfunctioned on one word, and uh, I couldn't know. Uh, well, that was not a swear word. <laughs> well, I, as I say, it's a malfunction. Commissioner uh, Stanley, you're, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Russ, whenever you come back up here next week to bring the map, can you add like Blair's Gap to that? Because that's part of Colvin Gardens down there. It's in the lower western end. I have not said, I'm not sure where that is on the map. Um, our board has approved this one. We could go back to the board and ask to add an additional area. Uh, if you could sit down with me and show me where that well, is. I just it won't work on to have to drive all the way through all of the Kingsport down to there if you're going to take Colton Gardens. Right, and I, I would not expect um, any pushback from our board on that. Yeah. I just need to know what, what it is so we can go back and have a vote on it so that we have a mutual understanding. Okay, okay, thank you. If you could show me where on the map that is, I'm okay. happy to do it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Crosswatch, you're right now. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I still would, would think that this would be um, a resolution instead of adding to the budget. And I do agree with Colette. Since we've increased our animal shelter, $106,000, then I think we need to give Kingport that same amount. But I, I would request that this be a resolution instead. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Calton, you're right now. Russ, this is me again. Yes. <laughs> I was going to tell you where Blair's Gap is. You yes. go down to Sullivan Garden Parkway, turn on Lone Star, and go all the way to the Hopkins County line. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I know where you're talking about. I didn't know the name of it. Thank we're, you. We've kind of looked. We've kind of looked at this map here, and it's probably not going to go there. But, uh, but again, we'll have. We may have a second shot at that, Russ. Okay, uh, Commissioner King, you're right now. Thank you, Mayor. Again, uh, I don't want to bring up a lot of bad history, but I've kind of got a bad <coughs> taste in my mouth from what happened with Kingsport and, and the animal shelter when we kind of uh, got the raw end of it and we got kind of dumped on uh, with our animal shelter and we came back to Blumble. We put a lot of money and time into it and we've got it up going to where it needs to be. It's not perfect, but I think it's a whole lot better than what it was several years ago. And that's because of a lot of hard work and money from this uh, body here. And uh, at the time when we split and moved on, uh, you know, we, uh, it cost us quite a bit of money. And I, I, don't, I don't forget that. But uh, I, I think, uh, you know, Sullivan County's done a great job with what we've got. You know, I know Blair's Gap's a long ways from uh, Blumble. Uh, I've got a long ways in my area. So are we going to give Johnson City? I can take my dog or a dog to Johnson City a whole lot quicker than I could to Blumble or Kingsport. So there again, you know, if, if we want to start you know, splitting areas and all that. Uh, I want something for my area if we're going to do this. I mean, I just want to be fair with the whole county. And, uh, you know, I, I live in my area, lives in Sullivan County too, and they pay Sullivan County taxes. And uh, I just want to be fair with the whole county. But uh, I, I, I don't agree with this. Uh, we've had our chance before, and, and I think we got the raw end of it. And, uh, I think we're doing fine the way we are. Thanks. 
Mr. Glover, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, this is a nonprofit organization, correct? Yes. Okay. How can a nonprofit organization have an enforcement officer? It's Southern County Animal Shelter. But we own the animal shelter. That's, that's that's a question I've got. How how is a nonprofit like that going to have an enforcement officer going all over the county, picking up animals and enforcing the rules and regulations that since they're that's the question. We'll have to refer to back to Mr. Atkins on that one. He's the attorney here. It's my understanding that they're deputized by the Kingsport Police Department, and I can't speak for the county, but I would imagine them coming to the Sheriff's Department in order to write citations. They're not, they're not authorized to, to bring criminal charges, but they can issue citations, and they can pick up animals. But our enforcement officers are county poll executors, and they work for the county. So they have the right to do that type of uh, sworn officer. Right. No, we're, we're not going to be making arrests. Well, we could issue citations. Dan, is that, is that correct on what, what we're saying? You have a good question. You just have to kind of organize the answers. Russ said the officers were deputized by the city of Kingsport Police Department, so I would think that that would be a satisfactory answer. As far as Sullivan County goes, I don't know, to be honest with you, whether these animal control officers are deputized by the Sheriff's Department or not. Um, I just have to check into it. But I understand what you're asking. If they don't work for the Sheriff's Department, how do they get law enforcement authority? It's a good question. They'd have, they just about have to be deputized by either the city of Kingsport or Sullivan County one. It would, uh, if, if I can interject, and folks, we made it to number three. <laughs> Let's don't get hung up tonight. Uh, I would interject that uh, if, if the animal control officer employed by Pet Works wanted to be a sworn officer of the Sullivan County Sheriff's Department, he could enforce those rules outside the city of Kingsport, but it would, would require them meeting certain standards that the Sheriff's Department has. Is that? Right, Dan. But that's the only way to be a sworn officer issue yeah. citations. And that would just be a little MOU between the county and Kingsport. Uh, so, okay, let, let's go on. Uh, Herschel, you're still recognized. That, that's the only question I had. I mean, the officers that they've got now that's doing animal control are Kingsport City officers. Uh, how are they going to have the right to be out in the county enforcing the laws in the county when they're Kingsport City officer? That's the question I've got. How are you going to determine? Okay, thank you. Uh, we have a couple more on the board. Like I said, let's, uh, we're down to number three and last. Right. Mr. Aker, you're right now. Thank you, Chairman. Now, be, just to, that, this is the reason why, and I'll be honest, why I wanted this resolution, because the board has met, they now have hired a director. Things are going in the right direction. When they came in front of the budget committee, someone from the city of Kingsport came and presented, you know? And so that's why it's hard to say we're going to give $160,000 to something that they were still floundering. Or, you know, there, there was no direction. That's why I think, again, I, I'd be hypocritical. I can't vote for this as a budget amendment just because of what I asked the Museum of Bluffs to do. When they presented the budget committee, it wasn't going to pass. It said, come back when you're ready to actually present. And they did. And they came through. That's why I think Russ has had a lot of questions tonight. He didn't expect it. So I think you can come, give a nice presentation, show us what's going on, and get excited about it. Great. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, that clears the board. Uh, Commissioner Stidham, you're, you're recognized to renew your motion if you, if you choose. I renew it. Uh, the one thing I'd like to uh, bring up, this went, this went all the way through the budget process. This started day one from committee meetings all the way through. The museum of which I do support Mr. Cross White came up just a few weeks ago, was dropped on the, the budget, it didn't go all the way through. So that was one of the things, and I'm sure that will pass uh, easily. Now I'd like to renew. You renew your motion? Yes. 
uh, properly second. Any further discussion? This vote will be on the board. Uh, Okay, thank you, Dan. When the board opens, cast your vote. It's member number one. You're not member number one to item number three. Mr. Chairman, uh, wouldn't that go back to uh, Mr. Gardner to accept? Uh, I didn't hear. Yeah, but you second. Okay. Yes, uh, it, it, it was probably second originally. I just didn't announce that. Thank you. Thank you. The board's open. Please cast your vote. change your vote. Madam Clerk, take vote. Ten yes, fourteen no. Having received them, having failed to receive the necessary majority out of uh, amendment number one to item number three is rejected. We're back on item number three. Uh, Commissioner Gardner renews his motion for Renew my motion to pass it out of number three. Second by Commissioner Crosswhite. Back on the, uh, any discussion? Commissioner Vance, you're recognized on item number three. Is this where we need to go back and make the amendment on the Kingsport Life Saving Crew? Fine. Uh, it was amended, I guess, in the original, item number two. Item number two is reflected of item number three. All right, so it already started with 10, so you're saying 30. On the 209, 279 fiscal year 21, 22, it should be 239, 279, 23. You've got 224, which is wrong. It's, it should be 279. Sorry, 239, 279 for 22, 23 fiscal year. Voting on tonight a, a number of 239, 279 for life saving. You offer that as a minute? Should be 15,000 more of what's stated on the paper that we have in front of us tonight. That's right. You offer tonight as an amendment to be accepted by sponsor. Sponsor accepts? I accept that. And without objection, Sponsor accepts the amendment. It takes it to 484 626. Okay, everybody know where we are. Okay. I believe the board is clear. I believe you're ready to vote on item number three. When the board opens, cast your vote on item number three as amended. Everyone voted. Everyone vote. Anyone wish to change your vote? Madam Clerk, take vote. 23 or 24 yes, zero no. Have received the necessary majority item number three is adopted. Ladies and gentlemen, that completes our res resolution agenda and the budget document for the year 2022-23. Thank you for your uh, participation. Thank you for the good questions. Thank you for the debate. I would tell the, uh, I would advise the uh, sponsor to Mr. Stidham um, 
And uh, those of you who have amendments that did, did not get passed, that we have a meeting next week, the final meeting of this commission. And before we go, I want to say this. We've, we've all come through a uh, difficult nine months. But I want to congratulate, before we get to the last meeting, I want to congratulate this commission on, I think, making more progress on behalf of the citizens of Sullivan County than any commission I've ever served with, and I've served with some good ones. So give yourself a hand. So thank you. Please come prepared next uh, next week. We got some really uh, uh, interesting items on the agenda. Please come prepared to discuss them and uh, uh, have have a good week. We're adjourned. <laughs>